Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, this is Mr. Hamad Aql. Welcome to this vocabulary lesson, Unit 9, Vocabulary Workshop Level C. Before we start explaining the vocabulary, let's start having a look at how to pronounce every and each word. Word number one is at. Word number two is rai. Rai is two syllables. So we start weak and then you go up. This, these three letters, uh, I made them in red because you stress on them. So you say it like rai. Next word is bludgeon. Bludgeon. So you start strong and then you go down like this. So you start strong and then you go down. R bludgeon. Next word is start weak and end weak. And the stress syllable here is pitch. Capitulate. Capitulate. Word number five is chafe. One syllable. Chafe. Word number six. Defile, so you start weak and then you go up. Defile, defile. Word number seven, dire, one syllable. When the word is one syllable, there is no stress in any of the letters. Defile or any of the sounds. Dire, word number eight, disarming. So the first syllable is weak and the last syllable is also weak. And the stress syllable is the one in the middle. So, disarming, disarming. And same thing with disgruntled, disgruntled. So, a stress grunt. Word number 10, encroach. Start weak and then you go up. Encroach. Word number uh, 11. Endow, start weak, then become strong. Endow, fend, impunity, stress in the middle, similar to word number eight and nine. Impunity, mean, one syllable. Penal, penal, penal. Pertinent, pertinent. Predominant. Start weak, and then up, then down again. Predominant, da da da. Prodigy, start strong, and then you go down. Prodigy, prodigy. Rack loose, rack loose. Then renown, here's the opposite. So you start weak, and then you go strong. Renown. And here is how we pronounce all of the words in Unit 9, Vocabulary Level C. Let's start explaining the words. Word number one is apt. Apt is an adjective which means suitable, or fitting, or likely, or quick to learn. Its synonyms are appropriate, or fit, or liable. And the antonyms are inappropriate, or slow. As you can see in these two pictures, the first picture here, these two pieces of uh, jigsaw are apt, means they are suitable or they fit. And in the second picture, looks like someone is thinking of something that he wants to learn. For example, math is apt, means it's quick to learn. Let's see how this word is used in English. Uh, which is an apt description. You can imagine an animal like this, you know. An apt description means suitable. Next word is the word. Orai. Orai is an adjective and an adverb, so you can use it to describe nouns or describe verbs or uh, other adjectives. And it means in a turned or twisted position, like here, this bird on the right, its head is being tilted, so that's an orai. And the synonyms are crooked or askew or amiss, and the antonyms are a straight or symmetrical security he just added that if things do turn awry police are usually there as a backup next word is the word bludgeon bludgeon is a noun which means a short club used as a weapon like this one in the picture here and also if you use it as a verb it means to strike with a heavy club or to use force or strong arguments to gain a point the synonyms are cudgel and as a verb clobber or clap 
This word is most commonly used uh, in games that include fighting scenes. And it's used quite often as a bludgeon against Google. You know, oh, if Google does this, you read about. Next word is the word capitulate. It's a verb which means to end resistance or give up or throw in the towel. The antonyms are to hold out or persist. Look at the picture here. This person on the right. Capitulated means he surrendered or he gave up. Never to completely capitulate to the British. Narrative matters. Next word is the word chafe, which means to worm by rubbing or to swear, to wear sore by rubbing, or to feel annoyance or dissatisfaction, annoy, irk, and so on. So it's a verb. When it Cold, you may chafe your hands to feel the word. And the synonyms are irritate, also it means to annoy. So he chafed me with a number of questions. He irritated me, or scrape, or abraid. Because it doesn't chafe as much. If you wear a nylon or polyester swimsuit, that if you swing a long way, even if it's a short way, it can start chafing. So Next word is the word defy. It has a lot of meanings. The first one, if you use it as a transitive verb, and when we say transitive, means it takes an object. An object. It means to make unclean or dirty, like this picture here, the first picture. In this picture here, someone has defiled the pond or the uh, lake means he made it unclean and also defined means to destroy the purity of something if you use it an intransitive verb intransitive means it doesn't take an object it means to march in a single line or column like here these people they march in a column people in mecca these days they when they perform umrah they have to defile means the walk in column in order to keep a social distancing also, this word means, if you use it as a noun, it means a narrow passage like here. This passage is narrow, so it's a defile. In order to pass through the other side, to the other side, you have to go through the defile. And also, it means a canyon, as you can see in the last picture here. Things which come out of him, these are the things that defile a man. So you and I can be defiled spiritually. Next word is the word dire. It's an adjective which means dreadful or causing fear or suffering. Or it's a warning of trouble to come, demanding immediate action to avoid disaster. Like this picture here, some people wear uh, the dire mask, causing fear. Partly just from a ethical perspective uh, you know to see hundreds of millions of people next word is the word disarming which is an adjective means charming so arming arming okay disarming charming tending to soften unfriendliness or suspicion like these people here they are uh, disarming means they are tending to soften unfriendliness to become friendly And this can be quite disarming for people. And usually they, they stop fighting when they see that actually they are hurting a person. Well, unless they're a real psychopath. Next word is the word disgruntled. It's an adjective and participle, which means in a bad humor, like this person in the picture, he's angry or displeased, not happy, discontented, annoyed. In New York, March 2005, a disgruntled judge named Robert Restanio arrested an entire courtroom of 46 people because someone refused to silence their cell phone. When Next word is the word encroach. Which is, it's a verb which means to advance beyond the usual or proper limits. Like here, this person is trying to encroach uh, the other person's phone. He is trespassing or trying to see what he shouldn't see. 
and the fact that they don't do this to humans who encroach on their habitat goes a long way to show how gentle these giants actually are. Cool quality. ...should be clear of obstructions underfoot, overhead, or in between. Objects that encroach on a path of travel can be a significant hazard for pedestrians who are blind. Next word is endow. Endow is a verb which means to furnish or equip, provide with funds or some other desirable things or quality. The synonyms are to grant, bestow, present, or bequeath. The opposite is to take away or deprive. Let's see how it is used on Yugolish. Are the ones that endow a new child, a new fetus with its soul. And they think all of this has to be warm for it to happen. Next word is the word fend which means to ward off, resist, or get along, or manage. The synonyms are to stave off or cope. And this word also is common in fighting games. That's why in a field, in football, we, call, we have a defender, and we have also the word defense, so fend. When they reach three, they will be expelled from the group, forced to fend for themselves and find elsewhere their own group of females. The next word is the word impunity. Impunity is a noun which means freedom from punishment or exemption from penalty or immunity. Or more impunity as it relates to white collar crime? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh... Uh, next word is the word penal, which means it's an adjective. Uh, that means having to do with punishment or disciplinary. For him, the penal system is unjust. The prison system in general is not about rehabilitation for the most part, he believes. To study the American penal system. And after Next word is the word pertinent. It's an adjective which means related to the matter at hand or to the point. Let's see the, how is it used. Conversation. But a couple of the questions she asks him I think are really pertinent to what I'm talking about here. First question is, others have asked very pertinent questions about the seeming ubiquity of Coca-Cola and, and their products around the world. Next word is predominant. It's an adjective which means the greatest in strength or power or most common, like as you can see here in this uh, pie graph. It's, I mean, it is the predominant, it is the predominant business philosophy of the day. Hit the goal, get the bonus, hit the goal, get the bonus, hit the goal, get the bonus, underperform, out. Next word is the word prodigy. Prodigy is a noun which means something wonderful or marvelous, and also it means an unusual feat, a child or a young person with extraordinary ability or talent. She knew that he was a prodigy. They all did, but they didn't know what to do with him. That's really affecting the community. This is stupid. It's just like prodigy, which most people here don't even know. But also have his fortune changed by the account. A young scientific prodigy named Harvey Fletcher would also have his fortune changed by the academy. Next word is the word recluse. Recluse is a noun which means a person who leads a life shut up or withdrawn from the world. Like here, this person wants to stay in his own, so, so he's a recluse. And George was a recluse. Alice was very warm, very empathetic with her patients. George frankly preferred numbers to people. He was a recluse and would yeah. never talk to the press. Was chatty, a chatty Kathy with you on the phone? Well, and then his was funny. He... Next word is the word renown, which means it's a noun also, and which means fame or glory. Yeah, synonyms are reputation or celebrity or prestige. The yeah, antonyms are Obscurity, obscurity, infamy, notoriety. Like this person here is a renowned. 
essentially a martial artist, teacher, and movie star of considerable renown. There's no telling how high his star would have risen had he not died of a mysterious, possibly prescription, painkiller-induced brain edema at the age of 32. And here we come to the end of this uh, video. And here we come to the end of this video. Today we've practiced these words. At, rye, bludgeon, capitulate, cave, defile, dire, disarming, disgruntled, encroach, endow, fend, Impunity, mean, penal, pertinent, predominant, prodigy, refused, and 